So you want to work on the red team and you're wondering which degree will best help you get there. I've prepared a pretty decent analysis of this and I fully welcome any criticism from professional red teamers who might be watching this. There can only be one red ranger. And if you don't know what a red team is, it's basically just a group that attempts intrusion against either computer systems, humans like psychologically or like a physical intrusion against a building with the sake of reporting back so that organization can increase their security posture. This question actually came from a WGU video where I was comparing like the cybersecurity and information assurance degree against the network engineering and security degree. For those who don't know, WGU is just an online accredited self-paced university and what makes it special is you pay for a term at a time which is six months and you're allowed to complete as many classes as you can in that six months month time period. And when you couple the strategy with transferring in classes from Cita.com, you can save a significant amount of money. Uh, I personally have three degrees from WGU, like computer science degree, IT degree, and a cyber degree, and none of them have cost me over $5,000. But back to the question at hand, like which degree specifically from WGU is best to help you get into Red Team? And you have to realize Red Team, there's like a lot of different categories of like Red Teaming and offensive security, but they can all kind of be broken out down, at least for me into three main sections that is uh, technical red teaming human factor assessments and then physical assessments so technical obviously that would be like uh, intruding and breaking into computer systems the human factor that's just essentially social engineering an easy way to think about that is tricking people to get information out of them right and then the third one being like a physical pen test this would be breaking into a building or trying to get physical access to something i highly recommend listening to darknet diaries specifically there's episodes around penetration testing and social engineering if you're interested in red teaming really really cool stories very highly produced so yeah definitely check that out so i'm going to answer this question for two different groups of people the first group being people who don't know what they want to do like they're not sure of which discipline in the red team they want to work on and the second part being of course for people who know where they want to work i did also go to linkedin and i searched for red team and i took the first 25 people in that list and really analyzed their education for what level of education they had, their discipline, as well as if they got their degree from WGU. So I'll save that toward the end of the video. Definitely check that out. Uh, I think it's gonna be really interesting for you. It was interesting for me and I, I kind of discovered stuff I didn't expect to see. So yeah, watch the video all the way through. Okay, so people who are not sure of which discipline in red team they want to do, Probably the best degree to choose from WGU is going to be the Bachelor's of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance. The reason for this is this particular degree is the only one that has any kind of red team or pen test methodology taught in it as far as I know. Not only that, it has the NSA's Center of Academic Excellence designation. There's a lot of uh, benefits that go along with this, but basically uh, an easy way to think about it is the NSA kind of blessed this degree program with a approve of the curriculum that's in it. I made a whole video that talks about it, so definitely check that out. A good runner up if you're not sure which discipline you want to work in would be the Network Engineering and Security degree. This is because it has a, a good blend of computer science and cybersecurity, like there's a, a decent amount of coding in there and I believe it covers cryptography as well. Um, it just doesn't have any like like specific like red team methodology as far as I know. But likely whatever degree you get, you're gonna have to supplement it with that anyways if you really wanna like go hard in the red team space. And moving on to the people who do know which area and red team they want to work in. I'm gonna break this up into two groups as well. The first group being software related and the second group being everything else. So if you know you want to work on software in some capacity, that could be like AppSec engineering or you want to do exploit development or malware analysis or anything that like really requires you to understand computer architecture at a low level like dealing with assembly and that type of stuff. Probably guess what I'm going to say is probably computer science, not probably, but definitely computer science is, is going to be the best degree for this. But the downside to the computer science degree is just quite a bit of mathematical rigor and if you don't want to deal with or you can't stomach math, I might recommend going with the software engineering degree at WGU. This is because you'll get like a decent amount of coding in there and it also covers cryptography as well as API security. So it's definitely a good runner up to the comp sci degree. Moving on to the people who do know which discipline inside of Red Team they want to work in that's not software related, I, I pretty much just recommend again getting the cybersecurity and information assurance degree. I recommend this because the degree is really broad. It will give you a really good foundation of cybersecurity in general. So like those technical people who, who want to work in the technical part of Red Team, it will give you a good foundation, right? 
And for everybody else who wants to work in like those psychological ones or they want to do physical penetration testing, regardless of the fact, um, you're going to have to supplement your degree anyways. So you might as well get like the cybersecurity degree that's accredited, not accredited, but has the, the uh, NSA's CAE designation and then just supplement your degree with the, the necessary knowledge that you need to do, you know, social engineering or physical pen testing or, you know, whatever you want to do. It's, it's just... Um, the best one to get. It has the best foundation, in my opinion, for non-software related to red teaming. Now, moving on to the fun part, we're going to take a look at those 25 people from LinkedIn and their education. So I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to check it out and kind of play with it on your own. But basically, <laughs> this is really fun for me and it's really interesting to see. But I, I noticed like I, I just grabbed the first 25 people and every single person had a degree. Um, at least they had an associate's degree. That was like the kind of first surprising thing to me. Um, the second thing is, I guess this is not really surprising, but it's noteworthy, I guess. Most of the people, or at least the majority of them, at least had a bachelor's degree. And the majority of the, the type of degree, like the major or the, dis the discipline, I guess you could say, most people had, um, or at least the majority had a degree in computer science, which is interesting. Computer engineering is almost computer science, so I'm gonna like count that. So there's like 10 people with comp sci degrees, which is cool, it's good to see, because um, comp sci degrees like go in my opinion. Um, and how many cybersecurity degrees? We had eight cybersecurity degrees, or nine, I guess, if we count the uh, the master's degree. And I I just, and that's very interesting to me um, because it's like a cybersecurity di discipline, but most people had computer science degrees. It makes sense um, because, you know, the stuff I talked about, all those like software related stuff, and Red Team is not only like, you know, doing a penetration test, it's like all types of intrusion. And some of it can be like really difficult, right? Especially when you're making custom malware and doing those like low level difficult things. It makes sense, I guess, that there's a lot of comp side degrees in here. Um, I did see three people or about 12% um, who had actually had degrees from WG, which is really interesting. And the thing I wanted to point out is this, this doctorate degree, um, this cyber operations doctorate degree, I almost, enrolled in this program i was at like a crossroad to either do the cyber operations doctorate from um, dakota state university or continue to do youtube and I, I chose to do youtube for whatever reason but this degree is like really really crazy um i urge you to look up dakota state university cyber operations um if you ever feel like trying to get a, a phd that's like uh you know in my opinion that's like a real one right there so yeah this is really interesting Take a look at it if you want. Um, you can actually look at the individual LinkedIn profiles if you want to like see more about these people. I could have made this more robust and been like, oh, well, like where did they get the degree from? Like where do they work and like all this stuff. But basically, you can do that if you want to. But I just thought this is really interesting to look at. I do want to say this is really important in my opinion that red teaming is it's already mid career at the lowest. I don't. There's not really any entry level red teaming. So regardless of the degree you get, you're gonna have to supplement it with a lot to be competitive in the space by supplement um it could be anything you're gonna have to do stuff on your own like have a portfolio have relevant certifications try to build out your social network i i highly recommend you watch this employability framework video and when you're watching that try to imagine like you want to get into red team and imagine what the steps i'm talking about mean when it means like trying to get into red team if that makes sense there's just a lot that i i think you should do to you know, make yourself competitive it's not just get a degree <laughs> like a go work in red team it's not that that won't work very well so i just want you to be realistic and think about it red teaming is very cool but it requires you know some effort on your part to be competitive I hope you enjoyed my analysis and we will see you in the next video.